Hey up YouTubers! So right now we're in the middle of the London Film Festival and I just saw Luca Guadagnino's adaptation of Andre Osimhen's Call Me By Your Name. Despite being the prettiest film I've seen all year, I should probably warn you that you may not look at peaches the same way again. So Call Me By Your Name is set in 1983 Italy in this beautiful old villa which is owned by the Perlman family. Every summer they come out to Italy and their art historian father, who's played by Michael Stuhlberg, invites an academic scholar to come live with them to help him with his research. And this year's academic is the 24-year-old all-American dashing Oliver, who is played by Army Hammer, and he catches the attention of the Perlman's 17-year-old son, Elio, who is played by Timothy Chalamet. At first, Elio is annoyed by Oliver's presence, but as the summer progresses, annoyance turns into infatuation, and then that blossoms into something more intimate. Guys, this film is a work of art. I don't know how director Luca Guadagnino managed to pull this off, but this is so much more than just a gay romance film. It's simultaneously a foreign art house film, yet feels like a universal coming of age story of first love, which is completely accessible to a mainstream audience. The beating heart of this film is the two performances from Army Hammer and Timothy Chalamet. This is by far Army Hammer's best performance to date, and that's probably because James Ivory's screenplay has so much depth with its characters. Oliver is intelligent and a little bit cocky, but there's also an air of vulnerability to him, which I've never seen Army Hammer do before. This could potentially land him an Oscar nomination. He's that good. And Timothy Chalamet is also mesmerizing as Elio. As we watch Elio wrestle with the complex emotions of young lust, jealousy, and sexual awakening, it's extraordinary how Chalamet's performance completely embodies that idyllic yet confusing time in life. It's so natural. And their chemistry is something else. Else. What makes it feel so authentic is just how nuanced it is. There's no room in James Ivory's script for obvious flirtation. It's all tiptoed nuance, which suggests desire through subtext. Watching their relationship in this film is a bit like watching a fire. At first you see the kindling, and then you see the spark, and then you see it ignite and it slowly catches fire, and then it cracks and it snaps but it's hypnotic to watch. It's passionate and it's sensual, and that fire imagery is something that's used in the very final scene of this movie. This film is dripping with sensuality, and what helps is the gorgeous picturesque setting in Italy. The sun-kissed swimming holds, the bike rides through the small villages, and even the backyard orchards which are bursting with exquisite color and imagery. Like I said before, there's a scene, and you'll know when it happens, with a peach that could have completely backfired and been something really tasteless but it's handled so honestly by Guadagnino and his actors in a way that feels symbolic of the themes of self-realization and sexual desire. It's bold, but at the same time kind of beautiful and remarkably not gratuitous. And also, I would be foolish not to mention this, but towards the end of this film, there's this really lovely little scene between Elio and his dad in which the father talks to his son about the special friendship that he and Oliver shared over the summer. It's the most tender moment in the whole film, and for a lot of audience members, this will touch their souls when they see it. I don't want to go into too much detail about it because it's better to watch it for yourself, but it is one of the most touching bits of cinema I've ever witnessed. It's supremely well written and delivered with a plum by Michael Stuhlbarg. I can't stress enough how beautiful it is. So guys, to conclude, Call Me By Your Name is one of those rare films that manages to transcend from being more than just a movie. It's a feast for the senses because of its immaculate detail and careful craftsmanship. You can practically smell the apricots and the cigarette smoke when you watch this. Everything about this movie is beautiful. The performances, the writing, the cinematography, the direction, the setting, the score. It's a film that touches the heart and the soul, and it's just an achingly bittersweet film. So guys, I'm gonna give Call Me By Your Name a 10 out of 10. Make sure you go catch this one, all right? So quick question, guys. It's a bit of a niche question because not everyone's gonna have one, but what's your favorite gay romance film? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you have seen Call Me By Your Name, let me know what you thought of this film. I'm quite curious to hear what people think about the peach scene. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Capefield, and I'll see you next time.